Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video, I am going to discuss to you the frequently asked questions, especially on obtaining queues and the queue payment network on initiative queue. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so obtaining queues. But before I discuss it, I'm just going to... Um, this, um, read what is initiative queue so initiative queue is building the payment system of the future the queue payment network will integrate the best technological improvements that have been made in the payment industry over the last few decades to create a flexible easy to use and inexpensive payment network these technologies have been available for years but have not been adopted due to classic chicken and egg barrier. No buyer wants to join a new network with no sellers and no seller will offer a payment option that no buyer uses. Initiative Q solves the adoption problem by associating the payment network with a new global currency and distributing this currency to early adopters for free. Okay, so let's go to the frequently asked questions on how to obtain queues. Okay, so what do I receive for signing up? When you register, a certain number of queues are allocated for you. These reward queues serve as incentive to join, and they will gradually be released to you after the queue payment, queue payment network becomes active. Okay, so why would you give away queues for free? The greatest challenge in creating a new payment system is how to convince everyone, buyers and sellers, to join when the network is still small. Reserving high queue rewards for those signing up early overcomes this concern and will allow us to build a payment network that is decades ahead of anything available today. How much queue do I get for joining? The maximum, the maximum amount of queue you can receive depends on when you sign, it, sign, sign up. At each stage of engagement with queue, initial sign up, verification, using the system once it's ready and etc. You can play more queue. It's important to complete each stage as soon as it's available, as some tasks have a deadline. So why is the sign-up reward constantly decreasing? So joining after the queue payment network has been widely adopted requires little external motivation. Since once the adoption challenge is solved, people will value the better technology, convenience, and cost. Signing up after millions have joined is also an easy decision since you already know there's a good chance the project will succeed and the reward will become valuable. But joining at the very early stages requires real vision and foresight. We want to compensate our members accordingly. So why am I required to complete tasks to reserve my full queue reward? So Initiative Q's unique rewards model is what allows it to overcome the adoption barrier that has impeded previous payment technologies. It encourages fast adoption of advanced payment technologies while others struggle to attract new users. Initiative Q will be giving free currency to incentivize actions that help the system grow. That includes tasks such as registration and verification of friends, installing the Q application, adding information, making purchases, and etc. These tasks are in everyone's interests as they will help Initiative Q grow and reach, this, reach the target of releasing all queues to members at a value of around 1 USD per queue. So I want more queues. Can I buy them? Queues are not currently for sale. We plan to allow buying and selling queues against other currencies once the payment network is live. Right, so that is um, the frequently asked questions or facts about obtaining queues. So the next one is the queue payment network. So what advantages does the queue payment network offer? Okay, so over the last few decades, many advances in payment systems have been devised, but they have not been made available since they are only valuable once they are widely adopted. A chicken and egg problem. 
Initiative queues distribution incentives solve the adoption problem, thereby offering one global network that integrates many of these breakthroughs, such as low transaction costs, streamlined digital process which better fraud protection means fewer costs, a universal currency and one global system, one address for all financial needs, cutting edge measures to ensure secure transactions, fingerprint, voice and face recognition. Multi-factor authentication and advanced artificial intelligence models. Simplicity and user friendliness. One-click payments. No need to carry cash or cards. Customer protection. Using um, internal regulations and buyer feedback to prevent sellers from misrepresenting their products and pricing. Reversibility and efficient dispute resolution. Easy online claims process to ensure user confidence. Optimal credit allocation. Using richer information and more advanced models to correctly assign credit, credit to lenders. So parental control, sub-accounts that allow parents to control children's expenses. Helping the unbanked, connecting to the world economy the billions who don't have access to financial services. Okay? So why will Initiative Q succeed where others haven't? So since payment systems involve a network of buyers and sellers, a new technology only brings value once it is widely adopted. Buyers first want to see many sellers offering it and vice versa. There have been many great payment technologies developed over the years but they fail to gain universal acceptance due to this barrier. Initiative Q's innovation is in leveraging the future value of Q itself to incentivize its widespread adoption. A unique reward system encourages users to become early adopters and opens the door to the adoption of major breakthroughs in the payment industry. So what can I do with my reward queues? Once the payment is functional, the queues reserved for you will be released gradually, and you will then be able to use them for any kind of payment or exchange, purchases, sales, rentals, investments, and etc. So when will I be uh, able to use my reward queues. So the reward queues reserved for you will be released gradually. Distributing all the queues at the same time would flood the market and devalue the currency. Therefore, once the system goes live and begins to grow, only a set proportion of one's reserved queues will be available for spending. The rate at which queues are released will be regulated to maintain a stable exchange rate of around one queue per one dollar. Um, while also incentivizing economic growth. Queues may be granted sooner to members in some locations to accelerate the creation of local queue-based economies. So, economic models show that if an initiative queue succeeds and the queue payment network becomes a leading payment method, then eventually all of the queues reserved for members will be released while still maintaining this one-to-one -one ratio exchange with UST. Okay, so are my queue transactions private? Can anyone see them? So Initiative Q is designed to succeed as a mainstream payment network, which means fully complying with all laws and regulations, transaction information, the queue payment network will be handled similarly to how current payment and banking networks operate, wherein the bank maintains all transaction records but must safeguard the data and cannot share it with outside parties, unless required to do so by law. So how much is one key worth in USD? Right, so where were we? At this stage, queues are only being reserved and cannot be used. If initiative queue becomes a leading payment network, queues are expected to be worth approximately $1 per queue. This estimate is detailed, detailed in our economic model. Okay, so what is... Uh, there's a link to the economic model. Here. So what is your estimate of Q value based on? The reasoning behind the estimated future value of the Q payment network can be summarized as follows. The payment world is stuck and with decade old, decades old technologies. Since it is very difficult to get buyers to adopt a new technology that sellers don't yet support and vice versa. Initiative Q solves this problem by compensating early adopters with future currency. This enables the building of a payment network that is far superior to current ones. A payment network that is both superior technologically and widely adopted would be preferred by both buyers and sellers. 
it is realistic to expect that such a network would eventually overtake credit cards, which account for 20 trillion in annual transactions. Um, the total amount of money in the world is roughly half of the world's annual economic activity. The value of all Q currency could thus reach half of Q's annual volume. So an alternative data point is the value of cryptocurrencies, which peaked at nearly $1 trillion. Despite hardly being used for real payments, nearly all activity is speculation. Therefore, the total future value of Qs could reach a few trillion dollars. So there are currently 2 trillion Qs. The goal of 1 US dollar per Q is achievable. So what happens if not enough people sign up? So Initiative Q needs many committed users to ensure a meaningful network of buyers and sellers. If a critical mass is not reached, the project may not go forward. Because the rewards are only valuable once the system is functional. It is in everyone's interest to get others to join. Okay, so those are the frequently asked questions on the Q Payment Network. So, guys, um, sign up at my link below at the de description. So, guys, I think this is it. So, this has been Vic. Once again, um, signing off. Bye-bye.